Hello and welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff and this is a broken TV. And the question is, can it be fixed? First, in order to attempt to fix this TV, we have to take the back off. And this episode is really just to show how I tackled this problem and to give you a look inside an LCD TV rather than an instructional video. This TV was completely dead and would not even turn on, so I figured it couldn't get any more broken, and I had an idea what the problem might be, so I decided to crack it open. Now a word of warning. Some electrical components can keep a charge even after the device is switched off, so don't start tearing apart electrical equipment if you don't know what you're doing. The prime suspect in this case was the power switch. Previously it was a nice satisfying big switch to turn the TV on or off. That was just a sprung plunger on the side of the TV that did no more than make a sad rattle. So I set about attacking the back of the TV with a screwdriver. Luckily the nice people at JVC had foreseen this and provided helpful little arrows pointing to the dark little tunnel mouths the screws like to live in. If we take a look here, we can start to make out the arm the power switch assembly is mounted on. Now, with the back fully off, we can take a moment to look around the guts of the beast. Let's take a look at that power switch. As it turns out, the switch on the side of the TV is not the power switch at all. The real switch is much smaller and hidden behind it. The idea being that the big plunger slides in and pushes on the small internal switch. Unfortunately, after many years of faithful service, the inside end of the plunger had snapped and we can see it here lying broken and defeated. But do not despair, the brave little internal switch lives on. It still clicks in and out like a good un. So I figured if it was set to on and we successfully reassemble this contraption, it might switch on and we can just turn the TV on and off from the remote control, like normal people. And I'm happy to report that is just what happened. Victory! So the old TV now works perfectly. I've got no excuse to go out and buy a shiny new TV. Hang on, I haven't thought this through at all properly, have I? Darn. Never mind. If you've got any small appliance success stories, let us know in the comments below. Or alternatively, give your suggestions as to what I was planning on doing with that mallet if this fix didn't work. If you enjoyed this show, please give us a like. And if you're feeling adventurous, hit that subscribe button. I've been Jeff Birch, this has been the Mammoth Tech Show, and you've been very kind to watch. Thank you very much. Oh.